Hi guys, it's me, and this week I'm going to be showing you guys my regular school routine. So let's get started. I really just put my hair in a bun and put a headband in so my hair is not in my way. And I'm using a Ultimate Finish by L'Oreal. And my sponge thing is like incredibly hard to get out. But I've actually just started using this product I've been recommended or it's been recommended to me by some of my friends so yeah and I got a big clump so I pretty much start by putting it on my face And then I'm going to take a brush, a blending brush, and I have some minerals where I'm just going to take the little brush thing out, get some on this. So you're gonna kind of just take it, blend it in a little, make it look a little more natural. So you know, this pale kind of spread it around a little, you know, that kind of stuff. Use your hands if you have to. Okay, so I'm just going to use a little more mineral here, just kind of like as a coat, blend it in a little so you don't look as pale. <laughs> At any rate, after that, where did my blush, oh, <laughs> after that I'm going to be using a fashion blush by Colorworks. And this is a collection of two, and I will be using this pale one since it's for school. This really light one right here. And then take my brush. This also helps to kind of make you look so it's not a little more pale. It gives your face a little more color. And I really like the shade for during the summer because you don't really get all those rosy red cheeks anymore. And that's what boys kind of like in my school. So, yeah. And then once you're done spreading it around, kind of just rub your hand over it, spread it out a little. That's what I do. And then normally I'll stick for me, which helps me but once you're done with that I normally use a wet and wild comfort zone eyeshadow brow bone collection thing but I normally use the light side it's kind of like um it's like a gold kind of the side right here so there's like one for your brow So I kind of just spread it all around. One for your eyelid, which is like my favorite color. Cause I really like like a gold kind of shiny. And then there's a really dark kind of brown that you mix in and I use a little too much. Okay, I'm just gonna use my finger and spread it around. Okay, and then you gotta do the other eye.
And then knowing me, I get it on the side of my eye. If you can't notice, it's right there. Because that always happens to me. I just take my minerals again and use the brush mine comes with. And then I just go over that. It covers it. And then while I have my minerals out, I kind of just go under my eye. Get all the spots that got screwed up. And all those dark circle things. And then I take my eyeliner pencil. I'm just going to put it on my eye. Normally people will put it like on their waterline or under their eye. I don't like to do that. I put mine like directly on my eyelid but like with the eyeliner it doesn't normally spread so it helps for me but whatever way that works for you okay once you have that done i normally use two different eyeliner or mascaras i use a volume impact and a waterproof so first i'm going to use the volume impact this kind of gives you a little more volume and then i use my waterproof Kind of put a top coat on. And then normally I would have a lip product, like a clear lip gloss that I use. Oh, wait. Never mind, I found it. I just use the Blistec Lip Vibrance. And it's kind of like a lipstick, except it works better. It'll stay on longer and it moisturizes your lips. So it's like one of my favorites. Because really it's not even a lipstick, it's a chapstick. But yeah. So smear that around, kind of. Fix any mistakes you might have. Any errors, maybe. <laughs> yeah, cut this part out. If you're watching my video this week, comment down below some videos for next week. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye. Stay tuned to watch the. Thanks for watching my video this week. For a shout out. <laughs>